Hey folks, Vortex here and welcome to my review of the Hiddies MP143 Salt. So this is kind of a revision of the MP145 I think. And the shell is a little bit smaller, so that actually might be quite thing. Yeah, and you can see it's an also another clap with a WDC. Um, so do check that out. And also, there is a badge, which I have right here. Yeah, it's about wild conservation. So, yeah, as usual, for this claim, I'd like to thank Hiddies um, for sending this out to me. So thank you very much. I was not paid to this video, and all thoughts and opinions are my own. I know yet like the MP145, that was a great plane arm, but the shell was quite big. So let's see what they've done with something that's meant to be a little bit smaller. You can see some it's got three different tuning nozzle slash filters. And yeah, let's just get into it. So let's have a look what you get. So again, like I said, it's got the three if it fill up, you can see the three filters, um 14.3 millimeter planar driver, uh copper two strand mixed braid cable. Again, it's in the WDC kind of collaboration. Nothing really on the back. Um, mine is the blue one. It's upside down, but it's the blue. 3.5 single-ended. So specs. So it's quite a lot here. So it uses the... Uh, okay. N52. Have a look. N52 magnetic structure. 14.3mm driver. 17 ohm pins. 103 decibel sensitivity. So that actually looks quite efficient. And... The contents there so let's have a look let's give it a bit of a wiggle again I have not tried these yet so yeah so mine are the blue ones they still look fairly um, fairly big so, soul for music beyond time and space so you can t it's a time traveler uh, yeah let me look at that in a bit Nothing there. Okay. That's quite interesting. All the different tips on there. Got a paperwork here. U Mermaid series and a user manual. I guess that's like one team phone. There's some I can feel there's something in here. Oops. The cable. Yeah, so that's so. Seems useful enough. Here's the different nozzles. Have to see which one's applied. And yet mine is the 3.5, which I wanted. So I've still got the 4.4 for the MP145. And the MP145 is over there, which you can't which you can't see. And yeah, let's have a look uh, have a look what's in here so that might just be padding okay, let's get these out so yeah I've never seen that before uh, technically that's padding they've used paper for padding so that's not a bad idea so here we go yeah so it's still a larger shell but it's a bit smaller than the other one I like the colour yeah, easy to, uh, it's coming off, easy to screw off. It is two pin. And yeah, so I really did like the 145s. It just it was a really big shell. So yeah, obviously I'm usual. I'm going to spend a bunch of time with it. Graph all three different nozzles, which is a, a pain in the neck to do for squig. But it's all good in the end. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you sometime after this video in the next clip. So welcome to my review section of the Hiddies MP143, it's a bit different. So this has got a slightly smaller driver than the 145 from um, I think nearly 12 months ago and that was a good set, not perfect and this has kind of the same I say, issue really which we'll get to in a bit. Obviously you saw the tips, I've got the mediums of that style on as you can see and obviously here's the other pair. Now the black ones all dark grey see them slightly sh taller so just use whatever suits you best and obviously here's the nozzle so obviously this screws off you can see leave them in there so I don't lose them uh, silver and red so these are the polar kind of opposites and fitted are the rose gold variant obviously which ties up with the graph which we'll get to in a bit so that's 
that's them. So yeah, that's what it looks like with the cable. This is the 3.5 millimeter. It's available with the 4.4, but I've also I've still got the 4.4 cable from the 145, and I've still got the 145, so I can always go in between them. Um, yeah, so that's that. Cable is different. Chin slider is really loose, which doesn't really do much. And this is what they look like, obviously um, fitted. Nice looking um, earphone. Again, still on the large side. So let's just take these off. Again, a two pin, as you can see. Slight vent there on the back. Obviously the, the colour on there, so you know which is which. Which is really convenient. So, pound sensitivity as it's a planar, again, typically harder to drive than normal. They're not that hard to drive, it's just they need a bit more juice than the normal dynamic driver. Not really. These are not really any different than the MP145, but again, if you want to try a planar IM, just use a decent dongle and you obviously they should be fine really. Now, comfort and fit. Now, this being a planar and a larger one to be honest, that's what it looks like from that side. Now, this kind of has the same comfort issues as the 145 did. It's a large shell, as you can see. Um, it's smaller, and it's actually much lighter than the, the uh, 145, but this part still seems to be quite similar. So the comfort-wise, even though it's lighter and smaller, it still feels similar. So just bear that in mind. If, that, if you didn't have much luck with the 145, it might be the same um here for you and that's what they look like obviously i've got the rose gold one uh fitted you can't really it looks more like silver on the camera but in reality it is the rose gold ones so that's that um tamba on this set it has the plain r tamba probably a little bit more than the 145 did but it's it has that sheen to the sound if you never tried a plain art you won't know what i mean the people who have well, know exactly what I mean. It's got that sound to it. Um, to be honest, I'm not that bothered really. I prefer, I like how these sound. Spoiler. Um, Tamba, I could take it or leave it really. Some people really, uh, really affects them, but it doesn't really, it doesn't make, makes no difference to my life. And that's that. So technicalities, resolution, details, all very good. Again, the strengths of a planar IM or planar drivers just in general, really. And yeah, so sound stage, um, quite large, really. I don't think it had the depth. It seemed to have good stage. I don't think it's as big as the 145 that has a bigger shell. Maybe that contributed to a larger stage. I don't know. But yeah, big sound stage. And uh, imaging, again, good as they always are, really. No tuning, because that's what it's all about. Put the graph on now. As you can see, they do make a difference. Noticeable difference. So, bass in general, these, as you can see, are can be quite a bassy set. But it's effortless bass, I find, with the planar. If you don't like the amount, or you want more, EQ is your friend. Doesn't really have that bass attack as a good DD does. I don't think they ever will. I think they seem to feel like they move more air. But again, a solid bass uh, one. Again, three different tunings. The red version, as you can see, because it really tames upper mids and treble. Poly sounds, obviously, you can sounds probably the darkest at the set. I think rose gold is probably the kind of middle ground, and silver is obviously the brightest, but we'll get to that in a bit. Um, yeah, so bass, I like this set. It's just it's effortless in like electronic music or drum and bass, techno, whatever you want to like, but yet yeah, no problem at all, really. And um, yeah, I'm quite happy with it. So, mid range, as you can see, it varies quite a bit. Again, the red one is the safest one, but if you like vocals, it's not that it's not your favorite because it's it pushes them back. Rose gold is probably the best middle ground at the three. Um, I think for just general music listening, it's probably the one I'd recommend at the three uh, nozzle ones, really. But yeah, female vocals are, again, solid on this set. No sibilants or nothing like that. And male vocals on this set seem pretty good as well. Mid-range depends on what you use, but it's very um, clear. Well, it can be very clear. It's very. It sounds very effortless with the planar. But yeah, I was quite happy the mid-range. Just choose whatever nozzle suits your kind of... Uh, music and stuff like that 
So treble, again, these can be on the bright side, especially the silver ones, as you can see. Like I said, I think rose gold is the middle ground, which I'd, it's the, probably the one I'd go for. Because um, the red one is maybe a bit too restraint. Now, normally I do like a safer treble over an aggressive treble. But I think rose gold is kind of the, the middle one that I'd pick. But yeah, treble is very detailed, in good in instruments, very good instrument separation, if you can get my words out. Um, everything sounds fast, clean. Again, I've sound, it can sound a little bit unnatural because DD is obviously the king for that. Good extension for what I can tell. There's that big peak past 15. K, I didn't really uh, notice that, but they did, they did sound... Playing ours typically do sound like big. But again, good set. The 145 may be a touch better. Uh, maybe because it's that bigger DD with the bigger shell. Who knows? But yeah, still a competent set really. So um, before I get to my conclusion, there is a link in the dis description about the difference between the 143 and the 145. So do please check that out. And yes, this is a Kickstarter for $79 the early bird price which is a great price if you want to obviously go for that so negatives a big negative for me again is the shell it's big and you know, obviously it shares the same comfort and fit with it's the 145 model which is not a good thing you may have to do a lot of tip swapping to suit what you want but it's that's the worst thing for me really is the shape but Tuning wise, I like how these set. I like how the nozzles make a difference, especially between the silver one and the red one. It's a big enough difference. I wreck the rose gold, like I've said. Um, price wise, I don't know what it would be full retail, but $79 is, I think, a good price. Very good build quality. Uh, the tip, tip amount, obviously, is fine. Obviously, the cable's fine and all that good stuff. I like it. It's another good solid. Uh, set it's just a shell might be a bit too big for you and that's it really i don't think i missed anything else but um yeah obviously there was um like videos recently about um driver changes or differences with the mp145 since the uh, like early versions like i have now i've only got a sample size of one which is this 143 and i've got the one 145 which is over there it's off camera um and that's it I, I have no opinion on it really i've only got the ones i've got so i think i'll probably end it there so if you think i missed anything about these or want to know more uh, let me know in the comments thanks for watching take care and i'll see you in the next video